a live look at the Coliseum where the A's are playing their final season in Oakland before skipping town. And the team announced yesterday that it will make a temporary move to Sacramento starting next year. The team's lease expires at the Coliseum after this season, but management didn't accept the city's offer to extend it. So the plan is to end up in Sin City here, but their new Vegas stadium, that's not going to be ready until at least 2028. So they're going to be moving 85 miles away to Sutter Health Park in Sacramento. The minor league stadium is the home of the River Cats, the Giants AAA affiliate. And it's smaller than what the team is used to. It fits about 14,000 compared to the Coliseum 63,000. But keep in mind, fewer than 11,000 fans showed up to the A's home games on average last season. The Sacramento Kings own the stadium, and the Kings owner is a longtime friend that you see here of A's owner John Fisher. The team told us the financial terms of the agreement are private. I want to extend my, my thanks to, to Vivek, uh, who's not only a good friend, but a, uh, a great business person, great associate. Working with you guys has been a dream for, for our guys as well. So I know that you're not like a longtime A's fan here. What are your feelings on this move as you look at the owner speak, as we've heard from so many fans around the Bay Area, just, you know, as a business person, having worked and lived in Las Vegas, you know how these deals go down. Well, my first thought is sadness for the families who've invested all of these years in the team, in the brand. Mm -hmm. And this is generational. So that's my first thought. But my second thought is the fix has been in for a long time. Mm -hmm. We knew in Las Vegas, I was a broadcaster in Las Vegas. Uh, we saw Dave Cavill on TV, sometimes weekly dangling the carrot in front of Vegas viewers, the taxpayers in Las Vegas. Uh, we saw this coming for a long time. And when I got here, I thought this is happening. And I don't think pe people in the Bay Area know that it's right. happening. The other thought I have is, you know, Fisher's a businessman, right? And business people put their money where they feel it's a good investment. So, you know, I look at the leadership structure in Oakland, and I think at some point the conversation's going to come to them as well. Why could you not keep three major teams? You know, Gianna brought up the Warriors as well. Why could you not hold on? What is happening with the leadership in Oakland that's affecting the people in Oakland who are hurting this morning. And that's going to be a big conversation. Yeah, and as we get to this here, Reed, a lot of people on social media are saying the same exact thing that you are. Yeah, well, a lot of people saw it coming. There's a finality to it. So let's go ahead and go to that right now. All right, so um, there's a finality, as we said, of the team to move out of Oakland hitting fans hard. Let's go to that right now. People are upset they're disappointed they're angry for one i can't ever get away from this this is permanent this is never coming off the a's have been here since 68 um and all my whole lifetime and it is very very sad um I, you know i don't cry man but i i was really torn up this morning well you heard from brian johansson there you know i interviewed him right. he's the owner of the last dive bar and he said it's like being in a divorce but you're still living in the house with a person mm. so with all the hurt with all the disappointment will you drive to sacramento to support the a's sound off on x use the hashtag kpix so we can check in throughout the morning so far here's what you're saying overwhelming here 79 percent of you say no it's too far but there is that 20 percent read that say yes forever fan and i think you know the ace could play on mars and they would find a way to get to them ace fans are also expressing anger on social media one cast blames partly on the giants saying the san francisco giants should be sued and boycotted Ooh. for colluding with john fisher to rip the ace out of oakland what a Judas moment. Completely disgusting. Another directs anger at the mayor. This is what we were talking about, Reed, mm -hmm. saying, nice job, Mayor Shang Tao. Your negotiation skills are on par with a toddler. Say goodbye to tourism, media money, and business is thriving. Three strikes, you're out. Time for a new mayor who can actually play ball. And some context here. Libby Schaff also was before Mayor Shang Tao. Another fan is more nostalgic, saying, I'll remember attending A's games with my grandfather after his 10-year shift at his bakery mm. on East 14th. We ate peanuts and subs, throwing shells as far as we could towards the field. Talked game strategy. Mostly, I remember learning and laughing, grateful for that time. You talk about assets. That memory right there mm -hmm. is an asset in our community, and it's so sad. Congressman Bar Barbara Lee chimed in with this. She says, this is a sad day for Oakland and for generations of A's fans. The A's have been one of the most successful franchises in Major League Baseball and have brought immense pride to the city 
of Oakland. I also wonder about the players. Will they have to drive? You come from a baseball family. Will they now have to drive from the Bay Area up to Sacramento for practice and all of that? No. I mean, if they're rooted in Sacramento now, they're going to be living in Sacramento, which will be less expensive for them, which is wow. good. But it is really hard on those players because here it's your lifelong dream to be a professional ball player. And I know it's first world problems here. We're talking about, you know, millionaires that are out there. But you look at what the other ball players get the fan base, a loyal fan base, a great new ballpark. And these guys are just kind of in that interim. And it's, mm -hmm. it's hard. It's going to be really hard for them to be motivated each day to go out and win a World Series. Yeah. Well, uh, they're going to go to Las Vegas, and they're going to meet uh, uh, a population in Las Vegas that is sort of meh about mm -hmm. them coming. A lot of people in Las Vegas say, we could use this money for education. What are we doing spending public money to get this new ballpark? And I'm not sure that Las Vegas locals will support the A's like we think they will. No, I agree with you on that. There have been, uh, there's been a lot of pushback because there's a shortage of teachers in Las Vegas. So to see that money go to this entertainment, go to this ballpark, I'll admit it's a beautiful ballpark. It's a lot prettier than the Raiders facility. Right. I'll say that. I know you right, nicknamed right, right. that in Vegas or people the did. Roomba. <laughs> the Roomba. The <laughs> Roomba. Yeah. Press the button. But this ballpark, uh, it, it's just, it's gorgeous. So 2028, that will be the new home. But until then, you're going to have to make the trek 80 miles up to Sacramento, Reed. I predict by 2030, there will be a sale. The team will have been shined up. The brand will have been shined up. They got the new ballpark and magically a sale. That's just my prediction.